guys, what is up? This is Grow Every Day. Today I'm doing a fan replacement on my ROG Strix. This is a 3090, and this fan does not work. See these ones spin that way? This one doesn't work. And I just noticed this says ROG in the middle. It's probably just a little sticker. My replacement fan does not but it spins, so I guess that's what we have. I can order a sticker for that later if I need to. I've got thermal paste, just in case I end up doing the thermal pads on it. And then I've got these Extreme Odyssey pads. Well, apparently these aren't the best to do. They don't work as well as some of the others, but this is what I got before I saw the whole pad review that said that these are not the best brand to get. I think they're gelid or a little bit better. But here's our issue. I got 0.5, 1, 2, 2.5, and 3 millimeter, but I don't have any 1.5 millimeter, and I'm not sure what this card takes. But one of the things we can, this card hasn't had any temperature issues, so it's probably not critical. And one of the things that I might try to do is remove this shroud completely and just have the fans on it. I think that this kind of restricts airflow on it but we'll see as you can see on the fan these are mounted on the outside of the fan old fans used to be on the inside these are on the outside which means we have to take this whole shrouding off of here you can't even get at the screws with it on there Let's start taking this thing apart There might be some screws hidden underneath of this. We're up to four different screw types. Lots of screws on this thing. This is not coming off easily. I'm going to take this shroud off right here. I don't want this on the card. All it's doing is blocking airflow. Looks like we need to remove some screws from here in order to get that out. There's a screw right here and a screw in there that need to be removed that are not easy to get to. You have to get in here on an angle in there. This is ridiculous how they build these things now. The issue that I'm running into is this is too fat to get in there. You need a dedicated screwdriver that doesn't have this big fat piece on there. So this is not going to be easy. Unscrew. As you can see, all my screws got mixed up. So this is going to be very difficult to put back together. And there's the other screw in there. Not sure if you can see that in there. Let 
This is not turning at all. I wish there were a way to remove the shrouding without breaking it. But that does not appear to be the case. If I remove this whole board, I can maybe get in there behind it. I can't get at that screw. So it looks like I'm removing this. Guess I'm going to do the thermal paste after all. There's the thermal paste and the memory modules and a whole bunch of oil here. I guess I'll clean all that up. And I don't know if I have pads that will fit this. I will have to measure those and see. Here's the shroud that I'm just going to take off. I don't want this anymore. Here's the shroud there. You can see there's some thermal pads. And there's that screw that I could not get to. Now I can get at the fan. Easy. I guess I'll just replace this fan first off. I'm trying to get these wires off of this fan. These are very stuck. That was incredibly difficult to get out of there. Broken fan, but the nice ROG. New fan does not have that. I do not want to set this down because there is thermal pads there. I don't want to muck up all my stuff. Okay, all the fans are in and they are spinning. The top shroud is on. I am not going to replace this shroud right here because all it's going to do is block the airflow. These pads, I'm not sure what thickness these pads are. These are skinnier. These ones are all the same. I gotta clean up this thermal paste. There's not much of an indent on these, so I'm not too worried about these pads that are thick. Not thick, they're hard. These are hard pads, there's not a lot of squish to them. But as you can see here, there's barely any dent indent on these, so these will be fine. This one has a ton of indent, so you gotta be really careful with that. And these ones are a lot skinnier. I'm hoping these are not one and a half. Let's start out with two. So that's two, two and a half. Two and a half is too thick. Careful guys. Do not swallow. Don't be, don't be eating your thermal paste. I know it's called paste. We've all seen Billy Madison. Don't eat it. Perfect, that's the same thickness. Same thickness. We'll wipe down these memory modules. They've all got oil on them. Clean this up. And then there's some dust and some oil there. Let's clean all that up. Get all the paste left on these. These are super dirty memory modules here. So I'd like to note that this card was never thermal throttling on me. There was no cooling issues with it. The fan had just gone, which is why I'm replacing it. Not sure how to clean these up. This is a mess. This stuff is like just falling. It's like goo all over all of these. I'm not sure. I see underside of these. I'm not going to pretend to understand all this stuff, but I'm pretty sure that's the memory right there. 
double stacked on these cards. Maybe that's why they get so hot. There's so much of it. I'm just going to kind of hope for the best on those. I can't get that off of there. It is like hard and caked and there's pokey bits here. I don't want to wreck this board. The others look pretty good. CPU looks mas or menos. It'll have to do. Good enough. We got five centimeters. By 1.4. I need to put some thermal paste on here. This is Arctic Silver 5. You can never have too many tubes of this lying around. Take my little spreader here. Nice and spread. So this is going on here. Got the four screws there. I have to redo these pins. One goes here, one goes here. I'm going to do this one first. That one's on. This one's easy because it's in the side here. So we got the four screws. We're just going to get them started. Now we're going to screw it in a star pattern so that there's nice even pressure. Perfect. Okay, those are all down. We've got all our pads here. Looks like I don't need this shrouding then or any of those thermal pads that I just put on there because all of these screws screw into this. And if I'm taking this off, I might as well just take this whole back plate off. Because this back plate is only going to get in the way. Let's see how many screws will go in here. This one, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm just going to take this thing off. I guess this makes it easier for the next time I take my other Strix apart. I didn't need to do any of these thermal pads. Because I'm just going to leave this open. I can use those pads on the next one that I do. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Card's going to go back like this. This is all open now. I think that should help cooling. Fans work. That's good. That's all open. I'm going to leave that back plate off of there. And we'll see how that works. Hopefully well. So we're back in the system. Here we are back in Hive. The card that I changed out is this 3090 Asus Strix right here. As you can see, it's got pretty much the same settings as the one above it. This one's also a Strix. However, this top one here is 10 more memory. I can't remember why I ever did that. Both have a power limit of 325. Fan is a little bit higher because the card reads a little bit higher, but I'm pretty sure the memory temp is about the same. Of course, this is in Hive, so you can't see that memory temp, but both are doing 123 mega hash. Here's a 3080. Here's some more. These are two Asus Tufts. They're both doing 122, and then this is an MSI 3090. Almost all of these, except for these 3090s, up here have had the thermal pads replaced. So now this one has the thermal pads replaced and the back plate and shrouding removed. So what that's going to do in the long term, I'm not sure. 
here's something interesting. The wattage is a little higher on that one than the other one. So I don't know why this wattage is so high. These Strix are also run super high wattages compared to these other cards. So you can see here, let's just refresh these stats. Yeah, 320, that's pretty high, that wattage. I don't know why that's so much higher than the other one. Well, whatever, it is what it is. Card works good, fan works good. I'm happy with it. Hopefully that thing lasts me for a while before I have to do anything else on it. So there is the fan replacement. It was insanely difficult to replace the fan on this 3090 compared to any 10 series cards that I've done before. This is my first 30 series fan replacement. I've done pads on lots of cards, but never fans. And I hope that in the future, other brands are a little bit easier to take apart. This one was just brutal. This MSI wasn't too bad. These other Asus Tufts weren't as bad. 3080s aren't too bad, but this 3090 Strix was brutal taking it apart. I don't know if I was just having a bad day or what, but there you have it. Card's good, card is running, so one more thing done. Let me know how it goes. If you guys are doing any card changes, if you guys are doing any fan replacements, and I will talk with you guys later. Take it easy.